Morning, uh, Lena. I'm very glad to be here in Cape Town and to present my work uh, about uh, Mona Lisa. Good. All right. Now, let's, let's talk about Da Vinci, the genius exhibition. Um, it really showcases the, the, the full extent of Leonardo Da Vinci's remarkable achievements as an artist, an inventor, everything that I said in the introduction. What does the exhibition reveal about him? So you will discover the, all the invention of Leonardo that he, he, he only make a drawing of this invention. But uh, a nice team, uh, Italian guy uh, and carpenters, built the real machinery and the real invention of, of Leonardo. And so you can see the invention, you can discover the invention, and mm. also you can play with. And for children, it's very important to, to have the accessibility to this invention. Yeah. You, you, you are known as a, a, a Vincian expert. When did your fascination with Leonardo da Vinci begin? Uh, this began because I'm first engineer, so I, I design a, a, a new way to uh, to make scientific measurement of the light reflection on the painting. So uh, my camera is not a, a camera as usual that we can make a, a photograph of a painting, but I measure the reflection of the light on the painting, and from this measurement, I am able to to peel like an onion all the layer of paint inside, uh, the, uh, inside the painting. So I can see layer after layer all the chronology of the painting. Mm. And I can go really deeply inside the painting and I can uh, discover all the secrets of the painting. That's amazing. I mean, this, this exhibition is a product of 10 years and uh, it's been viewed by what's been said about 3 million people in 34 cities uh, across the world. I, this is, it's, it's obviously one of those exhibitions that are, are very much so in demand in cities. Yes, it's uh, around, uh, on the five continents and uh, around the world and uh, in Europe, in Africa, in uh, in Asia, in Taiwan, Japan, uh, everywhere in the world. Mm. We have a, a very big success with this, uh, with this exhibition. First, because you have, of course, all the invention of Leonardo, but you can discover the secret of Mona Lisa. Well, I want to talk about the secret of Mona Lisa. Um, I mean, you were actually granted unprecedented access, which I don't think anybody has really give, been given by the French government to, uh, into the Louvre Museum uh, to conduct extensive uh, scientific evaluation of, of the Mona Lisa and the masterpiece, which is possibly the most secured painting of all time. Talk to us about this painting. Why so much mystery surrounding it? Uh, this painting, yes, uh, as you say, it's very difficult to, to have access to, to, to Mona Lisa. And the Louvre asked me to, to digitize Mona Lisa because of the invention, because the camera uh, revealed all the secrets of the painting. And um, many of these secrets uh, are uh, on the exhibition. And uh, I'm very glad to be here to present uh, uh, all the secrets. Uh, the Mona Lisa is a famous painting, first because uh, when Leonardo painted it, uh, and when he sold it to, to, to the French king, uh, François Ier, uh, the, the, the fresh color and the genuine color of the painting and the technique used by Leonardo with the glaze technique and the sfumato reveal that uh, he, he, he make a, like a three-dimensional picture. And at, it, at this time, it was very impressive. And it was so impressive that a lot of painters tried to make a copy, but it was not possible to make a copy of, of, of Mona Lisa mm. because the secret of the painting is inside the technique. Really? That's beautiful. But I mean, because you've, un you've unveiled, I think, um, 25 new secrets about the Mona Lisa, and this is all going to be on display in Cape Town. So, uh, I mean, I, I imagine I'm going to leave the mystery to people to go in and visit this exhibition and, I, and, and walk away with a newfound respect for Leonardo, Leonardo da Vinci and his art. Is that what people walk out of the exhibition feeling? 
So I, I, the people love to discover the genuine color of Mona Lisa. That mm. this is very important. So you can have the comparison of the color today inside the Louvre, and you discover how uh, the painting without the thick and yellow varnish on top, and you discover the genuine color of Mona Lisa. That it is really a revelation. I cannot tell you the 25 secrets. We, have, we, don't, we don't have the time, but yeah. I can tell you only one secret. So we discover that at this time, Mona Lisa uh, had eyebrows. Ah, Mona Lisa had eyebrows. Okay. Yes. I'm going to have to put that picture back up on the screen and have a look at Mona Lisa's eyebrows. Please put it up on the screen. So she does have eyebrows. Yes. Oh, you, you can hardly see them. When eh? Leonardo... And yes, all the painting of Leonardo, all the portraits made by Leonardo, always have eyebrows and eyelashes. Interesting. All right, you've got to get down there. Uh, if you're in Cape Town, you have to go and see this exhibition. It begins today. Pascal, how long is it on for? Oh, I leave today. You leave today, so it's on for one day? <laughs> yes. Oh, my goodness, you better get down there fast. OK, so you've got one day to go and see this exhibition. No, uh, uh, yes. no, no, no. The exhibition. I go to the next, and I go to the next ex exhibition. OK, she's going to the next exhibition, so you've got one day, Cape Town. Uh, Pascal, Cobb, thank you for talking to us. It's been a pleasure having you on the programme and uh, talking thank to us about Leonardo da Vinci, the Vinci and expert, and Mona Lisa's eyebrows. Yeah, OK, Mona Lisa has eyebrows. I still want to know what thank she's you. smiling about. That's what I want to know. All